Hi everyone, my name is Phoenix and I teach Quantum Now Manifestation. And Quantum Now Manifestation, what that is, is your full alignment to the present moment. When you are fully aligned in the here and now, in this reality, in this moment and present with exactly what is going on, you can bridge your highest timeline into this reality. So the way you do that is by alchemizing the energies within this now moment, which are not in aligned with your highest embodiment. So what are the behaviors? What is the vibration? What are the emotions that you are currently embodying within your field, which are holding you back from your highest timeline? So the being and the image and vision of you, the feeling of you, that deliciousness of what you are experiencing, who you are experiencing it as within your being. That's what you want to focus on in this now moment. So when you are focused on, on this energy and bringing it into your field, what this is doing is this is allowing you to manifest within your highest reality in this moment instead of delaying what it is that you actually want to be living, what you want to be creating, how you want to be creating it. So the reason why this is different than creating and manifesting in a more linear timeline is because it's directly matching the vibrations and the frequency that you see yourself in your highest timeline. So it's important to know that your highest self is not separate from you. Your highest self is existing in the here and now in this present moment. And that is your God consciousness. That is who you really are. It is your divinity. So the easiest way and the simplest way and the most direct way to contact your highest timeline and live in your highest timeline is to be in contact with your divinity in the quantum now, which means you are moving as presence, you are breathing as presence, and you are living in this space. So when you are moving in this way, you are not moving in doubt. You are not moving in insecurity. You are not moving in fear. You are moving as you are. So this is the key which unlocks all of the universal forces for you. But what's usually keeping you back from doing this is trust in yourself, is trust in who you actually are, is trust in who you really are when you tune into your divinity. This is why your presence and alignment is so important because what happens is you cut through everything. You cut through the core of the limitations of the lack of the fear. But if, if you continue to go back to the mind that keeps doubting, the fear that keeps arising, then you continue to move away from what you actually desire in your highest timeline, okay? So if you have a highest vision of yourself, let's say you do have that highest vision and you can see it in all the rich details, all the rich details of that deliciousness, of that divinity of that beauty of what you truly desire to experience then you can simply connect with that energy in you okay it's by seeing it yes that's one step to see it and then it's simply to move as that being you move and be like her or like him in you now because you are not separate from those energies that you are you are not separate from those energies that you are you contain 
the whole of all the universal forces that exist. And when you know that and you live that and you breathe in that way, you continue to stop hesitating because that hesitation is what is crippling the energy from not moving outward. Usually, you're receiving an inspiration. You're receiving that inspiration. And then you hesitate, you doubt, which fills your field with what is moving against that manifestation. So you must first connect to yourself as God consciousness, as your divinity, as your divinity. And when you do this, you are moving in your highest now. You are not separate from your highest self. There is no you and that. You are this. So in this space, you are free. You are free to move, you are free to live, and you are free to be. So you must stop. You must focus. Simply focus and marinate on your divine presence. And then you must move from that space entirely with every fiber of your being. You must move from that space. That means anything that you are not 100% inside of, you no longer are dancing with those energies. You have to stop sacrificing yourself. You have to completely move in the energies that you wish to embody 100% and the energies that you wish to live in or else you cannot live in your highest timeline. You have to honor who you are within and without with every fiber of your being. There is no getting around this. You cannot keep working at a space that drains your energy, being with people that drain your energy. All these sorts of things are games that you must stop playing. They are non-negotiables, completely not allowed for you to rise in your highest timeline in the here and now. So this is how you begin to switch into the quantum now. This is how you begin to switch because you begin seeing, okay, now is happening. 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 So you honor now. You honor what you want to do now. You must be the star of your universe now. This is how you open it up. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Allow that being to come through. Don't hold back. It doesn't matter what people think about you. It doesn't matter what people think about you. It's irrelevant, in fact. It's irrelevant. They can only recognize God consciousness if they are in touch and in tune and living and breathing that. So you must focus, you must focus and you must drop all of these silly concepts and illusions and limiting beliefs that you have in order to rise because life is only responding to you when you are in your full motion of Hadit. You must be in your full motion of Hadit. Okay, so allow that to move, allow that to breathe through you and don't hold back. You cannot hold back. If you hold back an ounce of yourself, you will be met by the same holding back from the universe constantly. You have to expand, you have to open, you have to let go. You have to let go and rise and letting go does not mean be lazy. <laughs> letting go means holding your vigilant attention upon the divine self that you are and allow all the lower things to be released. That's what the letting go is, the limitations. Allow the limitations to go. Sending my energetic support for only your highest rise and may everything else be a tower to your universe. That is false. <laughs>